In the world of Dragon Ball, Frieza was known as the former indomitable tyrant of the universe. A character who was incredibly powerful, but could transform several times, in fact, increasing that power. Or was he decreasing it? Hey guys, it's Mike here, and welcome to another video I'm bringing you today on Dragon Ball Z, in which I'm going to be talking about Frieza, and more specifically, his base form. Because there's a lot of people out there that seem to be under the impression that one form or another is actually Frieza's base. So today, I have brought in my special guest who's going to introduce himself shortly to try and clear up these misconceptions and actually tell you guys the truth about what Frieza's base form is. And his name is... It's the man who always tells the truth. I always tell the truth even when I lie. Geekdom or Big D. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. But today, we're going to be talking talking about what Frieza's real base form is. Because of course we know that barring Resurrection F, Frieza has four different forms in the main manga series by Akira Toriyama. And a lot of people today seem to be confused about exactly what his base form is. Many people seem to be under the impression that that small form with the horns, with the armor that we first encounter Frieza in is actually his base form. But as Big D is about to tell you and explain, that might not actually be the case. Well, no, it's definitely not the case. His base form is his fourth form, which is the gray form that we see him fight Goku in when he goes SSJ, and that we see for the first half of uh, Resurrection F. It hit the gray Frieza, the final form Frieza. That's his true base form. The confusion in this lies in two different, I guess, circumstances. Number one, people who don't know this are people who haven't seen the series in a long time uh, or just don't remember. Yes. You know, there's a lot of little tidbits that I remember people bringing up uh, throughout our time in the community. For example, some people think that Goku learned the fusion pose from the yard rats. That's wrong. That's totally wrong. But they're confused because they haven't seen the series in a while. Some people have never watched the series or read the series since it first aired on television. It's been a while. And then another one is, of course, uh, 17 and 18 becoming human. That never happened. They were just brought back to life and their explosives were deactivated. Yeah. Same thing with this Frieza thing. Frieza's original form, his first form, the first form that we see is not his original birth form. His final form, which is the gray form, is his true form. He tells Goku this on Namek. He tells the Sea Fighters this, that he created created the other three forms to suppress his power. According to what Frieza said, he, he basically made it out that he, if he's not in his final form, or if he is in his final form, he can't, he has issues controlling his power, which we really don't see, but okay, yeah. let's, let's go with it. Um, And so he created these other forms to kind of be able to suppress his power and kind of, I guess, not destroy everything around him. That's why the forms are there. However, the confusion amongst the fan base lies when it comes to two things. Number one, when Zon Arbon is fighting Vegeta in the Japanese version. I don't remember about the dub, but he tells Vegeta, he says, you know, Frieza can also transform. And the way Zarbon transforms is he goes from the good look beauty to the beast. Um, however, yeah. even though it's not explicitly stated, Zarbon's beast form is his final form, his true form. The beauty yeah. form is just a cover-up. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the Resurrection F. One thing that doesn't make sense about Resurrection F, whether it be the film or the saga, is that when Frieza's put in the rejuvenation tank, he comes back in his first form. I don't know why that is. Yeah, it I don't It really know. doesn't make sense. I mean, dude, why does he even have his armor? It what about It now? doesn't make any sense. It's almost as if Toriyama or Toei forgot that Frieza's, and this could create a lot more confusion too, that they Well, or, I have an explanation that might make sense, but it's headcanon, but go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, it almost seems like they forgot that Frieza's feel, like, real form and is actually his final form, and not the small form that we initially see him in. Either that, or they were trying to shoehorn him into that earlier form because that was the more popular form or the form that they initially see and they feel is more iconic and, you know, revelation to what Frieza looks like. I don't really know, but I feel like that also contributes essentially to a lot of the confusion surrounding what his actual base form could be. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, it could be that. Another thing that it could be is that perhaps that rejuvenation tank and resurrection of, and again, this is headcanon, yeah. uh, maybe you can program it like a 3D printer to where when it brings somebody back to life, maybe they purposely programmed it to to put Frieza in his first form and give him armor because, remember, nobody had seen Frieza's final form with the exception of his dad. And Goku, of course, you know, and Trunks and all and that. And Beerus. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> Beer, Beer, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we don't even know if Beerus saw him in his last form, but nonetheless, the point is that Frieza's army had never seen Frieza's final form. Yeah. So, again, that could be a reason why they even chose to do that with the, the kind of the 3D printer kind of mentality, or maybe they knew that Frieza's final form was way too dangerous, so they brought back first form Frieza and then kind of 
gave him the ability to go into his final form later on. But it, it gets more confusing when you factor in like the non Toriyama stuff like Cooler, yeah. because then people are like, wait a minute. So what about Cooler? His fifth form, is that his true form? No, his fifth form is an upgrade to his true form. So it's like they went backwards when it comes to transformation. So I can understand why there's confusion, but the bottom line is Frieza explicitly states his final form is his true form, not his first form. His base form, the word base, is his fourth form. Yes, his absolutely true form. And there's a lot of people, for example, that when they talk about Frieza's power or his training currently in Resurrection F, which of course, you know, by the point of this video recording, we haven't seen the full thing. We don't know if they're going to show all of it. But, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, Frieza's training in that lesser, weaker form. I mean, that's the same thing that Goku and Vegeta are doing. They're all training in their base, and that's incorrect because the thing is that Frieza's forms that he goes into to get to his true final form, which is actually his real base, are not multipliers. They are dividers. So basically what happens is that, yes, Frieza's first form that we encounter him in is less than, is like a half a percent. His next form is like a percent. You know what I mean? Like they go backwards. They don't go forward. So, you know, it's kind of hard to push yourself. Back forwards, not backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Upwards, not forwards. And twirling, twirling toward freedom. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. <laughs> Let's see if people down below can actually get that reference. But the thing is that like, how can you possibly push yourself to past your limits in a form that's not your true form that's purposely restrained and stuff like that? You know, you're not really exerting yourself to your full capacity. But I digress. The fact of the matter is that despite the confusion, despite all of the people that, you know, are saying one way or another, and despite maybe Toei and Toriyama even forgetting themselves, Frieza's true form has always been the form that we see him in, like, his last form, the form that we see him in when he gets mecha upgrades, the golden Frieza form, or the cooler form. It is that final sleek form that is not the other ones. That is his true base and final form. Yes, that's a fact. And again, there's some confusion, but if you rewatch the series, especially in Japanese, or reread the manga, it's right there in black and white, or in color if you have the full color ones, which should be coming out in this country in February. So definitely pick up the full color Frieza Saga manga. It's the best way to read the manga. And for a little but, and for little questions like these, I definitely advise, as Big D just said, to check out the manga in the Japanese anime because that'll dispel every kind of question you have about the confusion around these kind of questions when they're specifically said. But this has been another video that we were bringing you today on Dragon Ball Z in which we were talking about Frieza and his final form. Tell us down below, did you actually know which form was actually Frieza's base form or were you confused like many others seem to have been? They're not going to know if they were confusing one minute now. <laughs> his base form is his final form. It's Remember, it's backwards. Yep. That's, that's the point. That's the point. Also, don't forget to check out Big D's channel. If you haven't yet, you probably should. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stick around because there's a lot more, and I say a lot more to come in the future. Oh, it's like coming. It's like when you lift weights, you come. I'm going to come all over it. I come. I'm coming. I'm coming day and night. Can't you see that I'm in heaven? Oh. Uh. Uh.